let's make a sound. So you do it with your breath in. Oh, these two things. You breath in here. You make it wider here, and it's like you are a balloon filled with air. Don't do it uh, in a very um, harsh manner. So do it a little for it to be comfortable. Oh, and then with it such a sound, you are making a hole with a drill, like. Where is your drill? You should have a drill in your hand because all your body actually should be in this process. And with this feeling, with this being filled with the air like a balloon, you know? Come on, come on, come on. Where is the drill? Hold the drill in your hand. You should be involved in this process. You should be like an actor. Okay, great. Just a few words. Actually, training your voice is like acting. Because uh, each exercise should be connected with some image, should be connected with some task. If you, are, if you go somewhere to train your voice and they make you just produce sounds like O, A, P, 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 this is stupid. And it doesn't work. I, I tell you as a person who practices this for 10 years, this is stupid. Because this is not connected with your emotion. So you should be emotionally involved. Your conscious should be doing something, should be like, you know, be involved in some task. Like you are a worker, you need to make a hole with a drill. Your salary actually depends on that. That's important. And you make... <laughs> and your sound should be really low. It should be lower than your speech, really. Try for it once again. Come on, come on. Make a good sound, make a good sound. Resonation. And your second hand can be on your belly also. Put your second hand on the belly. Make your sound there. <laughs> who, who has some effect? Who, who has the resonation in your head and in your chest? Can you raise your hand? Who doesn't? You should relax your throat better. And you should really make this form. First inhale. Then you make this, listen attentively, you make this cavity here a little bit upper than your throat, like second chin. Oh. In a calm way, not in a very harsh way. And, and relax. <coughs> and be concentrated on the task actually. Okay. I will just, I have very little time, yes. So I'll just show you the continuation. Then you add the vowels. We'll not do this, but I'll just show you. You first inhale. And you train all the six vowels for Russian, Ukrainian and also English. English language has other sounds, but these are the main. And you can train the same like the same method, the same mechanism on the vowels. This is important and this uh, only one, this exercise actually helps you to speak louder, <laughs> to be heard. Because if you speak even with the same volume, if you, even if you don't speak louder, but you have the resonance in your body, your voice will be heard even if somebody is chatting in the room, even if there is some noise and uh, your voice will also sound in a more comfortable way, in a more like respectable, I would say, way. You're like a, you're a real person. Yeah. This is important. If you want to, if you want me to show you with the wobbles, you can come up to me after the meeting, and I will show you. If, if you didn't succeed, I will also show you. <laughs> so you will be fine. And uh, just one thing in the end of my master class: if you want to be really heard. 
if you want to be a much better public speaker. When you speak on the stage, when you communicate with people, sometimes focus on how you speak. Because scientists say that how you speak, the manner of your speech is five or six times more important than the contents of your speech. That's why sometimes focus on how you speak, your diction, your voice, and mainly the thing that we <coughs> practice today. Thank you very much and good luck.